Hello everyone, welcome back to Serpent Resurrection. Now, I've read everyone's comments uh, in the update video uh, regarding uh, Part 19, and, uh, well, uh, almost all of you, if not all of you, uh, have been in favor of uh, Part 19 uh, as it is uh, staying up, uh, and not uh, replacing it with uh, another Part 19, uh, with the uh, parts uh, removed. So, uh, Part 19, as it is now, uh, will not be replaced or removed. So yeah. Thank you everyone uh, for your input uh, on uh, Part 19. Makes me feel a lot better. Now that I got that out of the way, let's continue on, shall we? And this is the reason why I didn't go through the sewer entrance to the uh, storage cellars. Lots of stalkers uh, roaming inside the sewage. They're annoying and uh, deadly at the same time. I just went this way anyways to get uh, the mana batteries and stuff. Now back... Cultist! Crux Cruel. Oh, why am I speaking like a cultist from blood? Uh, whatever. Go to the secret area and uh, get some magic rings and an amulet of warding. And uh, this tunnel actually uh, connects uh, the uh, first and second parts of the sewer area. So, I took the uh, tunnel way uh, to uh, the uh, second part of the sewers. Now, uh... Use a yellow mana battery, grab the yellow mana battery, then get out of the way, uh, because I'm going to be using a fear scroll. This fear scroll will make uh, dealing with uh, the stalkers in the second part uh, of the sewers uh, easier. Like so. And let's get the uh, red mana battery and the bag of venom sacks. <sighs> that logbook has nothing important on there. No hints or anything. And now, uh, there's nothing else left for us to do here, so let's get going. Back to the Monastery of Selene. Now, when we get back inside the monastery itself, uh, we're going to be heading back to the cloister, uh, because, uh, that's where the next map is, along there. Take care of these cultists. Easy as always. Another one. Ow. Whatever. Let's head back to the cloisters. Make our way to the stairs there. There are two sets of stairs. Uh, they lead to the same map, but I'm gonna take the uh, left set of stairs. We have now arrived at the uh, upper floor of the monastery itself, better known as the uh, Meditation Chambers. There is only one secret in the entire map, and getting to it is really easy, and requires no artifacts to get to. Man, I need to aim better with the uh, Glacial Longbow. One of the arrows hit an already frozen enemy, and uh, I missed a couple times with it. And, uh, and if you didn't see the message below, uh, it's another one of those maps where uh, the music that plays in it uh, doesn't uh, loop uh, properly. So uh, once the music track finishes, uh, I'm going to have to uh, manually loop it. Same deal as uh, before with the village of Prometheus. Uh, the centaur is getting in my way. 
Uh, fortunately, uh, he didn't get hit by uh, the slot tour, so uh, I didn't have to wait uh, before uh, attacking him again. Grab this stuff and uh, let's head for Celine's room. Some yellow mana crystals and this uh, logbook. Not much time left. I can almost feel them coming. Luckily, I have most of the ingredients for the spell. The rest should be in the alchemy lab in the cellar. No need to go hunting for another set of them. That's right. Uh, if you haven't been paying attention, uh, well, uh, we've been collecting ingredients for a spell of some sort. And, uh, man, how did I manage to pick up the uh, mana battery through the closet anyways? Heh. <laughs> it's a mystery to everybody. and uh, fight the centaurs here with the uh, mace. Because, well, uh, more room on this side than the other side. If I fought them uh, from uh, the entrance uh, from the Monastery of Selene, uh, I would have uh, accidentally uh, re-entered the Monastery of Selene uh, that way. Oh, that slot tour is still alive. I'll take care of that. Haha. Uh, I'm gonna return here for the uh, mana crystals. I'm gonna get the crystal vials and this uh, bag of uh, crystals. Uh. Those cultists sure move fast. Uh, but I'm still going to take him out with the Glacial Longboat, nonetheless. Okay. Using the Serpent Staff to suck some uh, health uh, from the, uh, the frozen, uh, the cultists. Cultists! And there's another slot tour. And manual music restart time. Another one. Uh. Now, let's head for the bats. You know what? I need some more health. That's better. Switch the poison vial. Uh, because here's something very bizarre, yet it works anyways. Go here and uh, use a poison vial here. And... <laughs> look how high the uh, poison gas cloud is. And look how low the centaurs are. Come on, come over here. You were not dreaming. That gas cloud still harmed the centaurs, even though they were low enough uh, from it. Man, strange, isn't it? Oh well. Got the, went to the secret and got the siren orb there. Another siren orb that will get sold. Now, you notice there's a Menelker, Traductus, and Zedek on there. And these uh, indents uh, that are ring-shaped. Almost the same shape as the uh, ring we just picked up back at the uh, bottom floor of the monastery. Well, we need to collect uh, some other rings uh, so we can gain access to the fights with the Grandmasters from Hexen. If it didn't uh, already occur to you, we're going to be fighting the Grandmasters here. But I'm going to say fighting them until I've got uh, the other uh, rings. Uh, I need to use the bathroom. What? You want to use the bathroom, Braxis? Yes, I want to use the bathroom, the serious cat right, demon. Fine. But make it quick, okay? Thank you. Uh, uh.
Uh, uh, finished Praxis? Yes, I am. Good. Let's continue along our way, shall we? Hey, get back here, Slotor. Now, here's a rather dirty trick here. Open both doors to lure the Etons out, and, uh, right in the middle of uh, luring them out, uh, set a time bomb out and, uh, and have it explode both Etons. It's a cheap tactic, but it works. Although, uh, you're gonna risk uh, getting yourself damaged by the uh, Etons themselves. Also, uh, I want to uh, note that, uh, for every room you visit in this uh, hallway, uh, enemies uh, will be spawning outside. Just a warning. Also, before I forget, uh, a few days ago, uh, uh, wow, I completely screwed up uh, that uh, time bomb the ancients trap thing. Trying to talk about uh, the uh, recent uh, Hexen Edge of Chaos announcement uh, a few days ago. Basically, uh, the team behind uh, Hexen Edge of Chaos uh, finally released a playable demo for it. Well, I didn't expect that. Uh, wasn't ex expecting the Chaos Serpent to be part of the explosion, uh, but it happened anyways. Uh, uh, it's hard to pay attention while uh, talking at the same time. Yet I continue pressing on like that. Uh, enter the other latrine and uh, get the magic rings inside. Uh, oh, and fighting! I'm biased, so I'm going to take care of them both myself. <laughs> now, let's go to the shrine here and... Uh, what the... That slot tour survived. <sighs> really now? Really now. And I'm full on uh, potions of life. And there's another summon scroll here and uh, some uh, mana crystals and uh, the dark key. Be warned, enemies have now spawned as a result of me picking up the key. Chaos Serpents! Speaking of Chaos Serpents, uh, the other uh, locked uh, room of this uh, map uh, has a whole bunch of Chaos Serpents uh, in the room. I'm gonna ready the uh, poison vials. Uh, Open the door and hide behind there, then, uh, run out and place a poison vial there, and then, uh, lure the, uh, Chaos Serpents out. <laughs> Those Chaos Serpents don't know how to open the door, do they? Either that, or they don't have the, uh, Ornit key that I have, uh, from the storage cellars. Groovy. Oh, oh, where'd you come from? And we got the Diamond Signet Ring. Now, uh, grab this stuff here, and, uh, I think this is a good stopping point, uh, next time on Serpent Resurrection, uh, we finish exploring, uh, this, uh, map, and then we head back for the storage cellars and make use of that dark key we got. So until next time, everyone, see ya!